In this video, we learn how to deal with a function with an unknown coefficient. In particular, we learn how to find that unknown coefficient. And for that, I'm going to work through the three examples that we see here, in which we're given the function's curve, as well as its equation with an unknown coefficient, and we're given the coordinates of a point through which the curve passes. So let's get started. For this first curve, we can see that it has an equation y equals to x squared plus bx plus 11. And we need to find the unknown coefficient b. Well, all we need to find this unknown coefficient b are the coordinates of a point through which the curve passes, which is exactly what we're given here. Indeed, we're told that this curve passes through the point with coordinates 5, 6. And to find b, all I need to do is replace every x I see inside this equation by 5, and y on the left hand side by 6. So that would be 6 equals to 5 squared plus b times 5 plus 11. Calculating that leads to 6 equals to 25 plus b times 5, which is 5b plus 11. And now adding this 11 to the 25 we have here, this turns into 6 equals to 36 plus 5b. And what we're now faced with is an equation for the unknown coefficient b. So all we need to do is solve this equation for b. So let's see, I'll start by getting rid of this 36 by subtracting 36 from both sides. And I'll just write that underneath, I'm subtracting 36 from both sides. And so we'll have 6 minus 36, which is negative 30, which equals to 5b. Now I want to get rid of this 5, which is multiplying b, and I do so by dividing both sides by 5. And so we'll have negative 30 over 5 equals to b. And since negative 30 divided by 5 is negative 6, we can state that the unknown coefficient b is equal to negative 6. And we're done. And to finish, we could even rewrite this function's equation, replacing b by negative 6. So that would be y equals to x squared minus 6x plus 11. Now, in this first example, we were dealing with a parabola, in other words, a quadratic. But the good news is, the method we've just seen will work for any type of function. Indeed, as we're about to see, given a function with an unknown coefficient, we'll always be able to find that unknown coefficient using the coordinates of a point through which its curve passes. With that in mind, let's work through this second example. We're given this graph, and its equation is y equals to a over x minus 3 plus 1. And we need to find this unknown coefficient a. Looking at this graph again, we can see that we know the coordinates of this point right here. Indeed, it has coordinates 5, 2. So to find a, all I have to do is replace any x I see by 5 and y by 2. Then I'll solve for a. So let's go ahead. Replacing y by 2, this becomes 2 equals to a over 5 minus 3 plus 1. That leads to 2 equals to a over 5 minus 3, which is 2 plus 1. And now subtracting 1 from both sides of this equation leads to 1 equals to a over 2. Finally, since a is being divided by 2, to get rid of that 2, I multiply both sides by 2. And that leads to 2 equals to a. In other words, a equals to 2. And we're done. And so this curve's equation is in fact y equals to 2 over x minus 3 plus 1. Okay, let's look at this third and final example in which we're given this curve and its equation is y equals to a times the square root of x minus 5 plus 2. And again, we need to find this unknown coefficient a. Well, looking at the information we have here, we can see that this curve passes through the point with coordinates 9, 8. And so once more, to find the unknown a, all I have to do is replace any x that I see by 9 and the y by 8. So that would be 8 equals to a times the square root of 9 minus 5 plus 2. That becomes 8 equals to a times the square root of 4 with plus 2 on the end here. And since the square root of 4 is equal to 2, this will become a times 2, in other words, 2a. And so I'll just write that here. We have 8 equals to 2a plus 2. Now solving this equation for a, I subtract 2 from both sides, which leads to 6 equals to 2a, and now I get rid of this 2 which is multiplying a by dividing both sides by 2. And since 6 divided by 2 is 3, 
we can state that 3 equals to a, or rather a equals to 3. And we're done. And so this curve's equation is in fact y equals to 3 times the square root of x minus 5 plus 2. And that's the final answer. And there we go. That's how we can deal with functions with an unknown coefficient using the coordinates of a point through which the curve passes. And that's it for this tutorial.